So here's a quick tip for any of you that might be having a problem playing games or something on your HP laptop. I've got a DV60 here. And if you're playing a game, particularly if it's one in full screen, and it requires you to use these function keys down here, you probably at one point had this happen to you when you try to press a, a key to use. Oh, I see, I muted my sound, and now it's turning down my volume, and it's turning it back up. Yet, when you're playing the game, nothing's actually happening in the game, it's all happening on your computer. What's happening is, these are not behaving as function keys as you might expect. There's actually somebody on my HP Quick Launch button issues that was having a video I made a while back that was having these kind of problems with playing World of Warcraft, and this is what's happening. And usually F3 brings up the search dialog in Windows, but as you see, all it's doing is changing the brightness. If I wanted to do that, I actually have to hold down the FN key, this function key, then press F3, and it'll bring me the normal search box. Then it starts behaving as an actual function key. Now what's happening is, HP calls these action keys. This kind of relates back to the quick launch buttons, touch-sensitive buttons that older HP laptops had. This is their answer to that. They never came out with a solution for those touch-sensitive buttons. They copied some others that, uh, like Dell and a couple of other computer manufacturers have done. They've gone to just using the function keys as the normal control keys for computer functions instead of having a touch-sensitive area. Toshiba is one I know that still does that, and maybe Sony and a few others still do. Now, I'm certain you don't want to keep using the FN key to use these as a function key, especially in a game. So... I'll show you the solution, how to fix that little tip here. Let me restart. Okay, when your PC boots up, you're going to want to hit the escape key here because you want to bring up the startup menu. So you hit that, you're given a couple of these options. You want to hit the F10 key because you want to go into your BIOS setup menu. And when you're BIOS setup, we're going to go over to System Configuration. And you'll see there, Action Keys Mode, set to Enabled. And if you see this, it'll tell you why it's doing that. When it's enabled, pressing F1 through F12 activates these Action Key functions. But when it's disabled, you have to hold that FN key there with the F1 through F12 keys to activate those functions. Otherwise, these behave as normal function keys, which is what most people probably want. So, just hit enter and move that to disabled. Now the action keys are disabled. Now you have to use the FN key if you want to use them like before. We'll save the changes. Now here we are back in Windows. And if I hit the F3 key here, you should see the search dialog box come back up. There we go. So now it's behaving as a normal function key. So every time I press F3, it's going to act as F3 and bring up a search dialog. Now if I wanted to change the screen brightness like it was doing before by itself, now i got to hold this FN key down, the function key, and then hit those keys. Now they act as the action keys when I hold that down. And I do this to all my laptops because I'm used to using the FN key with those like that to control functions, not the other way around. The reason, like I said, HP did that is that was their solution to those touch-sensitive buttons on the older laptops that people had trouble with. That relates back to my HP Quick Launch Button Issue video. So this is their solution. Dell did the same thing and went to this and took their touch-sensitive buttons away too. And they've got the same kind of configuration thing in the BIOS, so this applies to those as well. But it's a little quick tip for those having issues, but might want to get back their regular function key operation.